In this segment, we'll discuss how to properly descale a Titan 575. Throughout the country, there are different areas of hard water deposits which can form scale in the machine, reducing its performance over time. To remove these deposits that form inside the heat exchangers and the solution circuit, we will ask you to put in a descaler. Descalers vary by manufacturer and please follow the manufacturer's recommendations on the individual product that you use. Tools required to descale a 575 will be safety equipment, personal protective equipment in the form of safety glasses, chemical resistance gloves, and hearing protection. You'll also need a short length of hose you can put on the water box outlet. You'll need a container to catch the chemical in when we're done descaling. You'll need a descaling adapter, Hydromaster part number 000078058, and you'll need your regular garden hose adapter with quick connect on the end. In addition, you'll need a accessory tool that you can use on the end of the hose and a solution hose, high pressure solution hose. The descaler that Hydromaster sells is called Safety Scale and its part number is 800-800B. This is a good scaler for use in maintenance descaling and is not hard on the chemical system or the solution system inside the machine. So to begin, we'll put on our safety equipment. And we'll place the hose on the outlet valve for the water box assembly. It's important to drain the water box down to a level about half its volume prior to descaling. Okay, once we've done that, we shut the valve back off. We'll take our descaler. We'll open the lid on the top of our water box. And then we will pour the manufacturer's recommended amount of descaler into the water box. Next we'll take our descaling adapter and we'll thread it onto the end of our hose quick connect. Now for video purposes, I've got a second hose adapter here, but you could take the, your primary one off the end of your garden hose and use that if you like. And since we've warmed up our machine prior to starting the video, at this point, we'll just disconnect our water hose, connect our adapter onto the inlet water connection. We've already got our solution hose plugged in to the outlet port of our machine, and we're going to take then and connect it into the inlet port as well. So essentially, this hose is creating a loop from the chemical outlet side of the machine through the hose and back to the inlet side of the machine. Now again, the chemical manufacturers vary, but typical, typically what you'll want to do is run the machine in this configuration for about 10 minutes, then you'll shut the machine down, let the chemical sit inside the machine for 10 minutes, then we'll go ahead and purge the chemical descaler out of the machine along with the scale that is dislodged by running clean water in through the machine and we're going to capture the uh, descaler solution in this 
in this bucket, or you could also um, vacuum it back into your recovery tank if you like. So at this point, we'll go ahead and we'll start up our machine and uh, run it for the recommended length of time, and then proceed on to purging it back out of the system.
So at this point, we ran our scaler through for 10 minutes, we let it sit for 10 minutes, we restarted the machine, and then as you can see, we reconnected the water hose. After disconnecting the, the descaling loop hose, we connected our accessory, which in this case is a pressure wand, to the end of the hose, and we flushed the system out into this bucket um, to, to gather the uh, scale solution uh, mixed with the actual scale that's in it. And uh, then we shut down our, our machine. So at no time did we use the heating system. We only used the pump we in the no heat mode to circulate the solution through. And that concludes descaling a Titan 575.